On the morning of Saturday, March 16th, Orion Township hosted its annual Bunny Bop at the Orion Center. Prior to the event, families were invited to sign up for one of three sessions that took place at 9.30, 10.30, and 11.30 a.m. Approximately 150 family members took part in the event to enjoy games, photo ops with the Easter Bunny, and an Easter egg hunt on the grounds behind the Orient Center. This is one of the best parts of my job. It's so nice when all the planning is done and the actual day is here and you can kind of chill and just watch parents having fun with their kids. It's such a Kodak moment. You've got to get lots of pictures because they grow so fast, so you got to get pictures of them now. The Bunny Bop began in 2010 at Friendship Park, then moved to the Senior Center in 2012, which is now home to the Lake Orion Village offices. The event moved to the Orion Center in 2013, which allowed Parks and Rec to invite more families. Bunny Bop started out at Friendship Park a handful of years ago, um, and that was probably not the best location for that. Um, just we didn't have any indoor facility to kind of keep everybody warm because sometimes we get some not so nice Michigan weather. And over the years, it's just evolved, and here we are in the Orient Center this year. Talk about the uh, weather conditions outside for the egg hunt today. Well, the weather conditions are probably the best we've had in years. We've had years where we've had horizontal snow, rain, you name it. Today is beautiful, so it's a great day for an egg hunt. Meanwhile, as the bunny bop wound down, things were just getting underway at the Cirque building on Scripps Road. The AU Special Needs Foundation hosted their annual Easter egg hunt at the Cirque building for the first time, inviting families to enjoy a nice buffet lunch at the cafeteria, activities, games and crafts in the gymnasium, and photo ops with the Easter Bunny. Volunteers helped spread the plastic eggs in the courtyard, and at approximately 1.30, the Easter egg hunt got underway. There's a, a lack of these events in this area, so my sister um, and other family members of mine are special needs, and we figured out a long time ago that these were great events, and they were just so far away, so we started hosting them ourselves. Uh, it makes me feel better than anything, knowing that I'm a part of it, um, and I am just a small part of it. We have a lot of volunteers, and my mom is really the one who does all the work. She just points, and that's where I go. The event was free to the public, and it's estimated that approximately 200 people got in on the fun. Of course, the AU Special Needs Foundation depends on community involvement and donations to make this event possible. Well, we actually have had a significant amount of fundraising the past year, and we have a lot more fundraising scheduled for this year. So each year our events grow, and we're just trying to keep up with how fast they grow. The foundation has several more events and fundraisers planned throughout the year. For more information, visit AUSNF.org. From the Cirque Building in Orion Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.